Hello everyone and welcome to Fistful of Feminism. My name is Monica and today I want to talk about how feminist Firefly is in a Kaylee cosplay. Firefly is super feminist because in this world, sex work is highly regarded and highly respected. Not to mention that it's legal and regulated by the government, so all of the sex work employees are very, very safe. On this world, it is called being a companion. And in the show, Inara is the registered companion who is living on Serenity with the crew. Inara is probably the most respectable character out of all the shady criminals, and she has the most connections as a registered companion. So that's something that Joss Whedon gets super big feminist points on because he imagined a world where it was inverted from the one that we're in now, where sex work is looked at as demeaning and not something someone would ever choose. When in reality, in reality, sex work should be respected, it should be regulated, and the employees should be kept safe, and people should be allowed to do whatever they want with their bodies. End of story. Firefly is super feminist because of Zoe. We don't know who Zoe is. Zoe fought in the war with Captain Mal, and they have a bond like no other. She is married to Washburn, probably the <laughs> darkest one on the crew, and she is a badass woman of color. What I really like about Zoe is that there was almost a danger of her becoming that stereotype of the strong black woman, but Joss and the entire people on the show really rounded her character. She was a strong, militant black woman who wanted to have a child, who wanted to have a normal life, who had great friendships and showed weakness. She's such a beautiful, well-rounded character. I love Zoe so much, have the biggest crush on her. Not to mention Gina Torres is like the best. Firefly is super feminist because almost half of the crew were women and all of them had amazing characters. But Joss has famously said after being asked, why do you make such interesting female characters? His famous reply was, because you're still asking me that question. It shouldn't be a question whether or not female characters should be interesting, because they should, because females, women, women of color, feminized people, they're all interesting people who have nuance. All characters should be rounded in order to have a good TV show or a good story. They shouldn't be props or just there to heighten up other characters because that ain't cool. Firefly is super feminist because Kaylee is a mechanic. Okay, it's pretty clear that Kaylee Fry is my favorite character, but we do have to remember that this show is almost like 13 years old now, and to have a woman being a mechanic was actually a pretty big deal. Not only was she just a mechanic, she was a really, really good mechanic. She knew everything there was to know about any spaceship, any machinery, she was so awesome. And in the show when Simon, the doctor, is kind of being an asshole about her not really being like a girly girl or a preppy girl or a stereotype of what he thought a woman should be, Haley was always there fighting against that, being like, hey, that's kind of bullshit what you're saying about me. And just because I'm not fancy like girls that you might have seen on other planets doesn't mean that I'm any less worth your time. Another reason why Firefly is feminist specifically with Kaylee is that Kaylee is like the biggest hornball ever. <laughs> in a lot of different episodes in the series and also in the movie, Kaylee is constantly talking about sex. She talks about how unfair it is that she hasn't felt good in a really long time. We all know that she is a woman who owns her body, owns her personality, owns her sexuality. I mean, for God's sake, the first time that we meet Kaylee in the series when it's like a flashback, we realize that she got her job because she was having sex in the engine room with the first mechanic of Serenity, and it turns out that she's like way better than him and gets his job. That is a feminist, oh, I don't know what it is. Firefly is super feminist because women come to save the day. The episode where Captain Mal and Wash get taken by Niska and his crew, which I think is in War Stories. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I was kind of looking at this trying to figure it out. In that episode, when they are taken and Zoe has to come in with all of the money that she can to try and negotiate getting them out, Niska gives her an option between Captain Mal and Wash, her husband, after those two have been kind of fighting about Zoe. Now Zoe instantly, without a thought, goes, him! and points to Wash. She knows exactly what she wants. She knows exactly how to save the men in her life. She is the hero. And in the end, they all lead a big charge into Niska's secret hideout and shoot everyone up and get Captain Mal. And it's really, really great. Although Mal's ear gets chopped off and that's 
really gross. Firefly is super feminist because River is a really cool character. River ends up being the most badass fighter you have ever seen. It's found out in the movie that River's brain had been triggered to hear something and become a weapon. So she is basically a living weapon, but it's really, really amazing to see her use that at the end of the film for good. She uses her power as a badass fighter to save the rest of the crew after people have been shot, people are dying. She goes in and kills all damn Reavers. And not to mention that River is just a really, really interesting character study throughout the entire show. She's dealing with all of these emotional things going on in her head while still trying to grapple with the fact that she was saved by her brother and she's surrounded by all this new crew and what she's supposed to do about that. Just really beautiful work and Summer Glau is just incredible. Firefly is super feminist because many of the characters defend a women's right to bodily autonomy. A couple of examples of this are in the episode Our Mrs. Reynolds. You find out that Mal got married accidentally and has the opportunity to take advantage of what we at first see as this really innocent girl that doesn't know the world. Shepard Book is one of the first people to come out and be like, hey, if you take advantage of this girl, you're going to the special kind of hell. Go book! And another time in the episode Heart of Gold, when Mal has the opportunity to have sex with uh, the lead companion of the house. Well, I guess they're not registered companions. They do call themselves whores. But he's very clear to get the right consent in order to have sex with this woman. And she's very clear on what she wants and there's just a really good communication between the two of them because he does not want to take advantage of someone in any way. Go Man of Firefly! Also in Heart of Gold when they visit the like futuristic brothel, so the house where uh, many companions are, uh, Kaylee makes the observation. I uh, was like, oh, they even have boy whores. That's nice. So even, you know, 13 years ago, this show is challenging heteronormativity. It's challenging new ways of seeing women on television. Challenging the way that we view sex work. It's doing a lot of great stuff. There are a couple ways that I think Firefly could have been better. And if it had a second season, maybe it would have. But it is important to keep in mind that this world uh, was a mixture of like America and China. That's kind of what Joss thought that this world was gonna be. And that being said, I don't really see enough Asian representation in this show at all. You can see it in some of the things that they wear, in some of like the food that they eat. They all speak a little bit of Mandarin, but it's very Orientalist, the way that they're viewing Chinese people and just Asian people as kind of a broad group. Uh, it's just the representation isn't quite there, and I would have liked to see them push that a little bit so that it kind of steered away from racist and got to more culturally uh, accepting. And you know, there is Jane Cobb, who is played by an actor who kind of started Gamergate. So that's a thing. But even with a couple of its drawbacks, I would say that Firefly is one of the most feminist TV shows, especially for its time. Could have gotten a lot better, but I guess we'll never know because it was only one season in a movie. But I love you, Firefly. I love you so much. This is why Firefly is super feminist in my once again Kaylee cosplay. Maybe I'll do a shot that will show a little bit more of this. And on that note, that is where I'm going to leave you all today. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to have talked about Firefly today in a Kaylee cosplay. I think that's like my dream. If you like this talk about a TV show, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, leave a comment down below. And I will maybe do some more analysis of some TV shows because this one was really fun. If you'd like, you can subscribe and go there and da-da-da. Thank you so much for watching. And everyone, stay shiny.